Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. Alright, so here we are at level 18. And I'm currently using um, a similar setup to what I've been using, uh, but which is the sniper cannon and the cannon. But this time I've added a mine instead of a torpedo. And what I found useful about the mine is that you can create a, a barrier that uh, not many people will try to cross because mines do a lot of damage. Now my mine is by no means uh, devastating but it still does quite a damage. Um, so what happens is, you know, uh, whenever I'm, I'm in a battle, you know, I, I try to block corridors or holes where I know the enemy likes to cross. And I set up uh, one or two mines there and it helps us uh, keep the enemy at bay and not have them cross the, the fire line or it prevents us from being flanked. So I've been using it uh, quite successfully. It's not uh, by any means like, oh, I'm going to do a lot of damage to the enemy because most of them, they prevent uh, getting close to them. But what it allows us to do is um, make sure the enemy comes through the direction that we want them to come into. Now, of course, each um, battle is different. The enemy might be more savvy than, than others. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to put a block here and put several lines. Here so that they don't come rushing. Oh, there was one guy that was coming into this direction. This guy noticed it too, but. thing to do is if you're being chased you throw a mine at an enemy and the enemy will just quickly try to change direction and get away from it but uh, many people don't know that as soon as the mine line uh, lands it's not going to be detonated by you so you can still go in go after the enemy even though he's throwing mines at you just make sure you get <laughs> out of there uh, and, and just go right through it and you should be fine most of the time now if the mine has already been previously deployed then you definitely don't want to get too close to now you don't necessarily have to be on top of a mine to detonate it so you want to watch yourself you see here you can see the radius at which they, they explode so you don't want to be too close to mine Definitely don't. Alright, so I'm giving us some there some cover. You don't want some guys coming in through there. Right 
here, I'm going to throw them on, and that's going to try to keep them not coming into there. I saw it coming, but I thought I was going to have enough time to break it. Didn't. And right now here, I'm going to throw a line. Not that they're coming in, but that's going to help them stay a little bit farther back from us. And those guys, I mean, they see I'm hurting, and you know, they're definitely gonna try to go after me, and I'm done. All right, so if you're smart and you're playing with smart people, anytime you see some guy that's getting hit once or twice, you know, go after them as a team. That's gonna ensure that you uh, take the enemy down, even though you're doing it one at a time, it's the best uh, strategy. To get rid of the enemy. Because in this game, one versus one, I mean, it's just not gonna happen. This guy just a king, he was aware that this guy was just picking him up, but he realized it's too late. Um, the other type of enemy that you want to go after are the healers. Because these guys can really heal themselves uh, really quickly. Not only themselves, but also their team members. So, I would have definitely, if I was this guy, I would have gone after the healer instead of the fat boy. So, here he keeps on. And he might be able to get it. Oh, you see how the other guy is defending his friend. That's that's a good strategy, I still haven't seen anybody do that. Okay, we got him. And it looks like this one's in the back, because this healer is definitely not carrying anything to, to do all the damage. I mean, he does have him, the mortar, but yep, that's not going to get him too far. And yep, it's not a good match for me. That's right, eh? you know. You can't be the MVP in every game. Alright, so let's do another run here and see how we do with the mine. And depending on the level, you know, the, the mines are going to be uh, more effective than in others. And also, your enemy uh, is will also make the mine strategy a uh, better reward. Now, a uh, nice thing that um, that's also cool is that um, if you start leaving mines all over the map, <laughs> I mean, your teammates are going to hate you for it. But if you just drop mines all over the map, there's a point in the battle where people can no longer uh, keep track of if they were friendly or not and what happens is in the heat of the battle you know people are just going to be uh, playing driving around and then eventually just go over your minds so they're a nice surprise uh, at the end of the match Present there. Nice in here. Now also keep in mind here that the, the mine can also go over obstacles.
So in maps like this, where the enemy is taking cover of the wall, Now that guy right there is trying to flank us. And here's why men were mines can go over the wall. See, they're taking cover on that side, so I just see them a nice little pressing there. guy there, he was trying to flank us, and I dropped the mine, the minute he sees the mine, you know, he gets out of there. One more, it didn't happen. Alright, so, I mean, it, even though it's a quick match, I think I kind of demonstrated uh, how enemies will try to avoid mines. And you can definitely take that to your advantage. And, you know, if, if you're attacking, you know, uh, you use them as a this defensive uh, strategy. And if you're the guy on the other side, just go right through them. If you see that the enemy just threw the mine, just go go right through them quickly. Now, if you're far, then, you know, don't. Because <laughs> if not, you pay the price. But if you're close to where the mine was just uh, launched to, Go right through them. Alright, so here we have these two holes here. And I'm going to defend them by putting the mine. So if the enemy tries to be sneaky, we're going to have to go to them, take a hit. And we have first customer. here and I will leave that mine there and try to prevent the enemy from rushing us because the enemy is using a uh, speedster and I mean those boats are quick and they can go right to you and if they're using rudders uh, you know to make their rudders uh, better they can go over you and then aim at you a lot quicker than you will. So that's not, you know, something you want to happen. So. And a bit of a people here. This guy hopes he does the same, but of course not. More than I don't think there's any way we can win this. Oh, I 
to wait in there. Oh, I got him. That's why you never want to be close to walls in this game. Because if you're using torpedoes, they don't need to hit you, but if that explodes, so I can get the Okay, so I just um, throw a mine there. Oh, I got him with a mine, and he got me with a torpedo. So, there you go, keep for cat. Alright, we're, we're in a bit of a losing streak. Let's see what we got. I got right, some parts. Alright, so in theory, <laughs> you know, that's what you do with the mines. You want to give yourself a bit of a defensive barrier. And towards the end of the game, it's going to be a nice little surprise. So do try them out. If you have a, I, I have a common mine, but... Uh, uncommon mine. If you happen to have a, a rare mine or an epic mine, do definitely use them. It's just like the big torpedoes, I like using big torpedoes. I mean, those things just do a lot of a massive amount of damage. Now, of course, mines are the passive um, weapon choice. Or the torpedoes are not. So, depending on your style of gameplay, you want to go with one or the other. Done. Yep. Alright, so I placed some mines there, but they were not uh, positioned correctly. And this guy's noticed I had a bit of a, a bit of a wiggle room to go through. And then just uh, went right through them. Okay. 101, this guy should be able to take him. Oh, he's in trouble, hit the wall. Man, I hate it when you hit the wall. Oh, I got I got one. There you go, somebody got a nice little present. Alright, another uh, tip for you is that you don't want to drive in reverse. Because it just feels like you're dragging a lot of weight and, and your boat is not uh, fast at all. But what you would actually do is drive backwards. You know, because more than once you're going to be in the run and you got to defend yourself. You just have to uh, watch out. Or, or, or <laughs> You actually can watch where you're going because you're driving backwards, but if you manage to go through the map in a way that you don't hit the walls and you can maneuver uh, correctly, it's going to be really nice. And it helps a lot. Alright, let's see what we get here. Uh, nothing exciting. Let's see, big bird, which is this? Firebomb. Alright, I've been trying to get a long range mortar for quite some time. So I can evolve that, but hasn't happened yet. Let's see, where is it back? Yeah, long range. I need another one. 
Alright, so there you have it. That's on my uh, gameplay for you. I cannot evolve his baby yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And I hope that I can get a rare or an epic uh, mine. Um, there you have it. Uh, Make the best of what you have. Thank you for watching.